this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome to a special bonus episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy IV! Since last time, I made it back down to Earth, and after defeating the giant of Babel, this guy shows up, and he sells new stuff, like Fuma Shurikens, the most powerful ones in the game. So what I want to do, I'd like to get up to about ten of those. That ought to do for what we're using here. And now what I'll do is I'll just meet you right at the end, and we're going to fight Zeromus! Again! Alright, we've made it to the bottom of the Lunar Subterrain with my party that I have arranged. I have listed in the video description there. Uh, nothing too special. Just make sure everyone's got elemental protection like Protect Ring, Rogue Lords, things like that. Um, oh yeah, I got the Dragon Gloves on Sid since he doesn't have anything else better than that. So, we're all set and ready to go. Now the reason you want to fight Zeromus again with different party members is to unlock all of the Lunar Trials. I've already unlocked them for, well, the five that I did in the main LP, but now we want to unlock the ones for the remaining characters, and in order to do that, you have to defeat Zeromus with those characters. The exception is, or are, the twins. You only need one of the twins in order to unlock their trial, which is good because you can't side or substitute Cecil out of the party there. So I, brought, I decided to bring Quorum because, well, you absolutely need a white mage against the Romans. I'm trying to think about, uh... Oh yeah, the reason. A lot of people were asking, Itchy Bailey, why didn't you use Edge in your main party? Well, the reason is because... Uh, what, well, you need two people to be in the back row, at least two people, to be in the back row of both parties. And, well, obviously, Rydia, Rosa, and Porum had to be in the back rows. And I'm not going to use Palum, so that way I only have to make two trips to do this. So, Edge was the only other one. And so, that's why I put him in the other party, so that way he could function in the back row with both his weapons and being able to throw those Fuma Shurikens that I got. So that's why I'm doing that. I'm showing all this. Okay, this battle is new, but there's different dialogue along the way with the different characters. So, well, I figured I'd show that in addition to the final battle there. And I was saying, a lot of people were saying, H.C. Bailey, Zeromus was falling flat on his ass, not on his face. When I was saying about Zemus falling on his face like that, I, I was referring to the sound effect. It just kind of reminded me of the sound effect every time. Kina landed flat on his ass like that. Nuts. Well, sorry, Edge. Not much we could do about that. I think... Oh, wait. No, no, no. That's not until later. Well, it's not a spoiler, but... At some point in time, if you had Rydia and Edge in the same party, Rydia would say, It's no wonder Zemus didn't try controlling you. And I think Edge says... Uh, oh yeah, goodness is my middle name! Yeah, Cliffhanger's my middle name. He set himself on fire before he dies. That's great. Nuts. I wonder why they decided to make him... Uh, what is it? Refer to himself in the third person plural like that. I don't know. I love the arranged track. Well, I love all the arranged tracks, really, but especially the battle theme. They're really good at range. I still have a soft spot for the original, for the original soundtrack, which is why I used that for most of the LP. But I still love the arranged soundtrack. It's pretty good. Between the two, uh, yeah, I'd still go with the Super Nintendo, but it's really close. They're, I love the arranged soundtrack. Oh, might as well fast forward to this now. He's a giant furball. Yeah, pretty much. I don't know what the hell he's supposed to be. He doesn't look like he's on fire to me. What crystal? Just some random crystal? Uh, you mind controlled me, dude. Once you tread down the dark path forever, it will dominate your destiny. I hope die wasn't a mistranslation for go. No, no, that's another game. 
Okay, and Goldish, you just keep on getting hit with those meteors. Guess you don't like spelunking, huh? Ow! Well, that didn't work out so well. Uh, you're on the moon. How are you gonna get down? And they die. So now we got new dialogue here because, well, characters... Well, okay, Palin's still the same. But everyone else is around still. We must use the hope and pray method again! I know Porum's not around here, but uh, Rosa, you'll have to do. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, yay, people I only met for five seconds. I'm so happy for your prayers. Well, oh, maybe five minutes. How are you going to pray to the moon? I would think praying to the sun would be more effective. Oh, well, I can get up at least. I prefer Cecil with the white hair as opposed to the purple hair. I'll be honest with you, a lot of people were uh, critiquing that about Cecil's sprite, but I prefer the white hair. Got my ace in the deck. Now. Nah. Got a crystal. It matches all the other equipment that I've got. They didn't give me a crystal sword. Not in this version of the game. In the original, the Ragnarok, was called the Crystal Sword. Which I liked, because it satisfies my OCD for having all the equipment with the same name. Gotta have them all in a set. Absolutely. Yeah, I can't bring Tala or Fusoya into your party. Not that you'd really want to, but... Well, there you go. Hey, I don't have your focus ability. That's not until the DS version. We'll get there soon or not, viewers. And by the way, speaking of which, uh, I don't have any plans to redo any other LPs. I mean, besides the third Saken Densetsu 3 LP, but other than that, I really don't plan on redoing any of my other ones, like Chrono Trigger or the other Final Fantasy games. So, a lot of people were asking me about that. So I said, no, no. But anyway, let's get to Cecil's turn. Let him shake one more time. Okay, three shakes, that's enough. Use the crystal, and we're good to go. Now what I want to do, is I want to have Edge use the Masamune on Porum there. Oh! I forgot to do it. Well, too late now. Uh, you can steal a Dark Matter from Zeromus. But I'm not gonna. But anyway, first things first. Uh, one thing that I did not know is that Edward will die. Okay, never mind. Uh, one thing that I did not know that someone informed me about is that the Spider Silk is the equivalent of two slow spells. So that can be pretty nice. Don't run away. 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 Well, actually, that may not be such a bad thing right now. Okay, never mind. Let's just go all out. Now, with Edge, uh, you could throw some of the other weapons that we got earlier, but I, I figured, well, nah, I'll just save them. Let's keep Edge, or Edward, hiding for now, because Zeromus is going to cast Big Bang soon. Now, that's going to be no good for us. And the thing is, you want haste on form there, because she uh, would, so she can heal fast enough. That's one of the nice things about Edge's Masamune, is that Edge can, well, Edge can use haste instead of form, having to use it on herself. So that's pretty nice. But yeah, Zeromus is really fast early on, so let's leave Poem on standby. Uh, throw another shuriken. If you're playing the original version of the game, this would be a good time to use that kitchen knife. Let's have him return, and then I'll have Forum use garage on everyone. Hopefully Edward will not hide from here. 
Now, Zoromas probably won't use... He probably won't use uh, Big Bang for well, at least a little while. Not immediately. So, that ought to help us out. Be it full, Edward? Good. Okay. We should be good from here. I think 10 Puma Shurikens ought to do the job. So, Edward, not really good against the Romans. It's one of the big reasons why I decided not to bring him along the first time around. So, yeah. Oh, well. I love the arranged version of uh, the final battle theme. I, I like it even better than the original. The only one that I really think that much, that highly of. Did Zoromas just try to do something there, but not? Huh, that's weird. Well, never mind. Put, uh, con continue on! Oh, come on! Continue! Um, oh, for a second there, I thought I was at Edward's turn. Well, it's not bad from Edward. Not great. Uh, Edward, hide. Yeah, Edward does not like Big Bang. Whenever you see Zoroma shake like that, that means he's about to use Big Bang. Get a good Kiraja. Yeah, we're not doing too bad. I'm surprised that Big Bang is not dealing more damage. Usually it does. Some people were saying, H.C. Bailey, why didn't you steal the Dark Matter from Zoromas? Because it reduces the damage from Big Bang. And that is a lie. That is a bold-faced lie. It does not do, do that. Uh, I heard that the reason they gave Dark Matter to Zoromas originally was it's like some item placeholder or something, just to give him something. Uh, but really, you don't need... Well, the Dark Matter does nothing. Uh, the only version that actually does something is the DS version of the game, and I don't think that works with Big Bang either. So... Okay, good, good. Like I was saying before, once you get his HP low enough, he goes into his uh, secondary AI script. So that'll help us out. He's not going to use Big Bang nearly as much now. I don't think we need uh, haste on farm anymore. We can just afford to go all out. Yeah, unfortunately, our DPS is not so good here. Oh, well. I mean, Edward is fast, but not that fast. Last one. Hmm. Maybe I should have bought more. Well, if you're playing the, the Game Boy Advance or the PSP version of the game, you may want to save some of your money for new items in the Lunar Ruins there. That's where the Lunar Trials are. Ow. Oh, well, that wasn't that bad at all. Yeah, he must have really bad accuracy with that meteor. Oh, by the way, with uh, his black hole... No, not that kind of black hole. Oh, I uh, just attacked him. But with his black hole, that only... I double-checked it. It only removes uh, magic effects from your party, not himself. So, the slow that we inflicted on him still stay on him. I love the background in this battle, too. Just how it moves and everything like that. Yeah. Nice touch there. Well, not anymore. So what are you guys going to do? Just stare at him awkwardly? Oh, well, it worked. Well, there we go. And we'll never see him again. Well, hopefully this will do the trick. I should be able to unlock all the remaining uh, lunar trials there. Ah, pay no attention to them. I do like it how a villain has some final words for you, just to spite you. Yeah, I just threw shurikens at him all day. Not me. What? <laughs> that, uh, huh. I guess Edge was reacting to Rydia there, but for some reason when he reacted to Sid, it didn't quite work out. Well, whatever.
I'm not going to show the entire ending again. I'll just skip to the end, if you don't mind. When, when, I, when we're done with this, I figured I'd show the unique dialogue, but the remainder of the ending is pretty much the same. So, well, it is the same. So, But I do want to show you something else at the end. Well, yeah, I'm holier than you are. We're just going to let you go. You don't have to pay for your crimes. Well, it was Zeromus the whole time. Of course, we can't tell everyone else that, can we? Hmm. So? He tried to kill me when we had the same blood. Come on. Come on, Golbez. Brohoof? No. No, just kidding. Aww. Goodbye until the end of the end ending. All right, we've made it to the end here. Just figured I'd skip to here. And now let's see. Okay, we got Sid, Edge. I'm assuming that's the twins. And Edward. Okay, so we've unlocked all the lunar ruins now. Make sure, or lunar trials. Make, do I? Yeah, I saved there. No way. No, I saved here. Uh, make sure that you save this and make sure you've gotten all the trials unlocked. There's nine of them, so you should have unlocked nine of them. And make sure they're all unlocked before you go in there. What awaits us in the Lunar Ruins? Find out next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy IV! We are a long way from being done with this LP. This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!